uh, it's quite a long story. I learned to fly many years ago with the Royal Naval Fleet Air Arm and uh, like most people, once you're bitten by the flying bug, uh, you want to own your own aeroplane. So uh, a few years ago I started looking around and I went and looked at and flew in all manner of aircraft ranging from second-hand uh, GA aircraft right through to the new and modern breed of uh, recreational aircraft and after a long search uh, I found more by chance than anything else uh, a Foxbat and it, a flight in it convinced me totally. Uh, cruise is uh, a little better than you might expect uh, for such a, a little aircraft. We can cruise along quite happily at around about 90 knots. Uh, if you really push it, you can. And I placed an order for a kit that very day. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the basic information about the aircraft, its flying envelope and so on. Uh, the Foxbat's a two-seat aircraft with a 100 horsepower engine. Empty, it weighs about 265 kilos, so the power to weight ratio is quite spectacular. As a result, you can do very short field takeoffs. Uh, we were doing a little flying yesterday. Uh, we were getting off the ground in certainly under 40 meters and landing in the same distance. Takeoff uh, is very short. Climb out is pretty good. Uh, with one person, you'd expect 13, 1400 feet a minute, no problem at all. Two up, you should certainly break 1000 feet a minute in climb. You get up to 105, but you end up burning quite a lot of fuel. It's most comfortable between 80 and 90 knots as a crew. The costs of the aircraft, uh, certainly compared with GA planes, are, are very reasonable indeed. Uh, the aircraft will burn between 13 and 16 litres an hour, maybe 17 if you push it. So if you look at the cost of Avgas or premium unleaded, the engine will run on either of those. Uh, you're looking at probably something around um, 13 to 20 dollars an hour, depending on where you buy your fuel. Uh, then you have to budget really for oil and filter changes every 50 hours. That probably adds another dollar or so, something like that. This aircraft has uh, full span ailerons which give it uh, phenomenal control at uh, slow speeds and uh, for further lift uh, using the slotted flap mechanism you can actually lower these full span ailerons through two stages by using the lever here that's uh, one stage for takeoff which is 10 degrees and if you really need a very short takeoff or landing you can lower the flaps to the full 20 degree position here. The ailerons uh, continue to work in every sense while the flaps are down as well as up and then to raise the flaps first to the first stage and then finally all the way up there. Uh, the flap on this aircraft, in fact the ailerons as well, uh, colloquially known together as flapperons, uh, are in fact uh, what are called slotted ailerons or slotted flaps and they're there primarily to give extra lift to the aircraft in the slow fa phase of flight. Uh, they're not really so much a drag mechanism. The aircraft carries a, a total of 92 litres of fuel in uh, two wing tanks, uh, one in the right, one in the left hand wing tank. Uh, the fuel is accessed through a fuel cap um, at, the, at the corner of each tank. Uh, it gives the aircraft a very good range when you think of what the uh, fuel consumption is. Uh, being on top of the wing is not a problem. If you want to refuel at a, a bowser at an airfield uh, away from your home field, all uh, airfields like this provide uh, steps for you to climb on so that you can reach in and fill the tank on the wing, no problem at all. The instructor will guide you through that for your first couple of hours. Make sure that you're comfortable and happy with the aeroplane. The aircraft, the aircraft stalls cleanly. It tells you when it wants to stall. It's got a roomy cabin, uh, all the features in it from my point, from the instructor's point of view, are very good. Uh, the seating is comfortable, the controls are effective, and the aircraft itself is an incredibly short field landing uh, aeroplane. The ergonomics of the aircraft are extremely good. <laughs>